boing, boing, boing. It's morning. It's morning. <laughs> Jill's boinging already. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We are in Belfast. We can see it out the window. We can see a great big giant Ikea sign out our window, too. There we go. We canceled all their plans going to Ikea. <laughs> yeah. That's all we have. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's cloudy today, but it's not raining like it was yesterday in Scotland. So hopefully that holds on. It is chilly, though. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's borderline pants weather. So far I've been able to do shorts every day, but this will be a close one today. We'll see what it's like when we go up to the buffet and up on deck. Right. Mm. But let's go do that because I'd like some coffee. Here we go. Out into the yellow hallway. Do you have any rookies? Yeah, they got both. We are off to find a tea. And we went and we surrendered our passports this morning to the front desk. So we have no passports as of right now. We're at the elevators, looking for a ride from our home on five up to deck nine. <laughs> we are back. It's cold in here too. I think I'm gonna. We did not uh, show anything for breakfast. A messy bed. We just had a coffee and a tea each. Tried to figure out what's going on at the port. I think we have a plan. So it looks like there are shuttle buses available here. We think it looks like it says on the side of the uh, bus three fifty. $3.50 or pounds, I guess that would be. It goes into the city center. From there, you can do hop on, hop off buses. You can also do uh, a walk over to the Titanic. We're gonna do, I think, a combination of those today is what the plan's going to be. And we're just gonna get some more clothes on though. It's only about 15 degrees at best out there and windy, so it feels a little chilly. It almost feels like 10 degrees, which would be like 50 Fahrenheit. We're gonna get bundled up, get our camera gear together, and get ready to go see Belfast. Getting off. Enough. Probably the coldest day of the cruise adventure oh, will be well, today. Too. Windy and cold out there. Okay, update. We have found out that the shuttle bus, which is this thing, is more expensive per person than a taxi if you have a group of four. So we have a group of four, we're gonna take a taxi instead. This is all city center. Yeah, city center, yeah. All right, so we found a little taxi. We're driving into the city center for 15 pounds or euros, whichever you have, or sterling. That's what we're doing. We're at the visitor center and we just bought tickets for the Titanic, Titanic experience. Uh, we're doing it just after lunchtime at 12.50 and he told us it could be up to a three hour tour to get it all done. Okay, we're at the city center of Belfast now. We are on a hop on hop off bus. Uh, I believe it was 17 pounds. Right, Jill, Jill just gave her credit card for whatever the cost was. 36. 18 yeah, pounds each so 18. so anyways so we are going to I think 19 different stops all the way around Belfast including the Titanic exhibit but we're gonna do that after we finish doing the loop so yeah. cloudy here but uh, comfortable temperature we're gonna try sitting outside and see how that works so we're here at the intersection uh, in the city center waiting for the hop on hop off bus to go and we just realized that there is a Tim, Tim Hortons, Hortons. We thought we saw the, one of the gentlemen that was loading people in the bus carrying a Tim Hortons cup around. Yeah, he did. And, uh, and he offered to sell it to us for big money. He had to ship it in from candy, he told us. But yeah. then he admitted there's actually a Tim Hortons right over there. Yeah, the corner. Crazy.
Okay, we have finished the hop on hop off bus and we're heading to the Titanic experience just in front of us here. Interesting note, when we crossed the river here, we crossed into County Down. Yeah. Which is where, oh, five or six generations ago, mm. my family originally came from and immigrated to Canada. So, mm. kind of come back home. <laughs> A few generations. <laughs> Okay, so we are at the Titanic Experience and there's a little uh, pantry here. We decided to grab some lunch and I have got some Irish stew and it looks fabulous. Mm -mm. And Jill has? Truffle fries. I'm on a theme with them, I guess. Yes, Irish truffle fries. So I am having a spectacular lunch. I've got a curiosity cola, which is absolutely delicious. And the stew is one of the best I've ever had. Okay, behind me is the Titanic Experience building. Yeah. You can probably see it over our shoulders there. Yes. And uh, you're not going to see a lot of what was inside of this museum here because no video or photography was allowed. So we did get a couple quick shots of a few key points, but uh, yeah. So unfortunately, no video. So, so just, yeah, just there for a couple hours, I think. Oh, at least two hours. Yeah, over yeah. two hours in it. Yeah, so quite the place. A lot about the construction of the Titanic and uh, yeah, the and whole about the whole industry, industry sure. and yeah. history of, of Belfast. Belfast. Yeah, yeah. Before it became known for the shipping, it was a very well known for linen production. Yeah, not factories okay. for. So now we're going to go check out the SS Nomadic, I believe, which is another White Star, actually the only remaining White Star ship that's still floating. So that's right. We'll check it out. Okay, so we just came from the Nomadic behind us there. Quick little tour, there's two decks available. It was basically a tender at the uh, French port. Uh, I can't remember the name of it, uh, Chernobyl, something like that. Uh, just across from Southampton. And the French side, and it would tender passengers across to the Titanic before they went to uh, Cobb, or it was called Queenstown back then, as its last port before it uh, started its ill-fated journey across the Atlantic. But yeah, it was just the tender, quite the immaculate tender inside. We weren't allowed to take a video again, like in the Titanic Museum, but uh, Jill managed to grab a few still shots. Maybe we'll throw in here as well. So we're gonna start looking for a cab now and see if we can get back to the ship. We made most of it out. She thinks it's a pig. What do you think? Cute. Big? We can tell by tail. It's supposed to be a little spirally tail. No. 
Well, he's cute, whatever he is. I don't think he's a pig. I think he's a pig, yeah. I'm here to try a blue moon. It's a blue moon? Yeah. All right, so this is the Blue Moon Martini, not to be uh, mixed up to with the Blue Moon beer. So I had to make sure Martini, so he asked me if I wanted a beer. You know I don't want a beer. And not a Canadian whiskey and Diet Pepsi. Well, we're back on board. Back on board. We just wanted to give you a quick update before we moved on to the rest of the day about what happened in Belfast. Yeah, we had and a great day. We are here at the... Well, Raphael. The Felt... Raphael? The seldomly used Raphael Lounge. That's oh, what I was sure. trying to get oh, out of the, okay. of the space Sorry. in front of my teeth. Yeah. yeah but uh, It's a nice quiet spot if you're looking for a place that's warm yeah. during the day to read a book. I see a lady reading down there. There's, There's a piano artwork. right here that's never used, unfortunately. Back yeah, in the day, I bet it was a nice spot. Apparently, uh, a passenger was using it at one night, but so I'm hmm. trying to convince Mr. Canuck to do that for me because he can play piano. They so. already want me to use my own cell phone. Now they want me to use my own talent to entertain you. Yeah. Well, it would be kind of fun. Mm -hmm. But anyways. But anyways, Belfast. So. 24 hours ago, we didn't have a plan. <laughs> we had an idea. We had a rough what idea. We to a little do. bit of research. Knew there was hop on, hop off. Knew there was a Titanic museum. Knew that you had to pay to get into town yep. because I had spoke to the lady at the excursion desk and she told me it would be a ten, uh, a ten pound per person return trip yep. to get to the city center. Yeah. So what we found out was that there are taxis freely available. Lots of them here. Right. And you, we hopped in this really neat small i don't know how to describe it well, you'll see it, you already right? saw the video but this little cute little cab yeah and so uh, what do you think of it's a, a british, british cab, cab. Yeah. yeah and we rode that into the city center and that cost us 15 pounds into the city center yeah. now we're traveling with a with a, another couple so you know we were able to split the cost of the of the vehicle so, so that was cheaper than doing the ten dollars yeah because on the way back they only charged us 10 pounds coming back so a total of 25 for transportation which would have been 40 had we done the shuttle that they had offered out yeah. there or yeah ten dollars anyways it would have been for, for a couple been a little more money to do the cab but only five dollars so but by the got, convenience we, of it we, come, we came and went when we wanted we went exactly where we wanted to and we didn't have to travel and wait for groups of people in a big huge bus so i right. think i think it's a win even it was way it, worth it even yeah. if it was just the two of us we would have done it again so that for sure that's how we managed to get in, in at belfast the city center and uh, we then when we arrived there there's a visitor center we went right to the visitor center because we had heard you could buy tickets you have to buy tickets for the titanic experience online or, or ahead of time yeah you have to get a certain time slot so we went there and bought a 12 50 p.m time slot right away and that was uh 10 o'clock in the morning roughly yeah and then we went down around the corner there was hop on hop bus off hop on hop blah, 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 off bus tours <laughs> and they were 18 pounds a person um so we did that and that was for approximately a 75 minute round trip of course you could hop off at any point you wanted but we were just hoping to to sort of get a city tour so we did the hop on hop off we stayed on until we did a full loop and then we hopped off and literally just jumped to the the bus at the front of the line we did two Three, two minutes three minutes before we took off and it brought us directly to the doorsteps so of the Titanic. We did a whole cycle, center. whole cycle to hop on, hop off, and then we did the next five stops knowing it was going to take us to the Titanic experience. Yeah, and those five stops only took around 11 minutes, so if you're worried about timeline from the from point A on the city tour to point, it was, it was stop number five, but it was only around 11 to 12 minutes. So yeah, went there, we were there early, which we had hoped to do, thinking there should be a cafe. We didn't know for sure. Again, flying a little bit by the seat of our pants, came across a couple of places, quick kind of lunch type of they snacky two, place. They had two different and options it, inside and then, and then, then one outside. And so we, three places you can choose from. We lucked out and you probably saw it, best Irish stew ever. Mr. Canuck was quite happy with his lunch. I was in my homeland. <laughs> Where the, where the family's from, having one of my favorite meals, which is stew, that was the best ever. Uh, yeah, it was and perfect. I, think, perfect. Like, I didn't try that bread you had, but it looked like a multi homemade loaf of bread. It was the, like, it was a, like a nice, like a thick, brick. dark chocolate. Yeah, it weighed or more not than chocolate, all the stew. but thick. Sort of what I think is a malted loaf of bread, if, you, if um, you're familiar with that. And then we did the Titanic and the ship that's there as well, the Nomadic, a smaller white star ship. Anyways, you saw all that. And uh, that experience was 
So what we pay? Hop on, hop off bus was 18 pounds each. 18 pounds each. And the Titanic experience was around 23 pounds each. Yes, I believe close to that somewhere so around. So I there. think the whole day came in, even with lunch. We throw lunch in with all that transportation and a tour of the entire city. And uh, I think we're in for about 125 pounds for two people. For the two of us. So that's 60 pounds mm -hmm. each for a full day of seeing including, all of Belfast. Including lunch. See, seeing all of the Belfast, at least from bus, plus doing Titanic, plus transportation, plus eating a really good lunch. I think we did really well for our 60 pounds today. Yeah, we did. For sure. So it was great. Wonderful. And uh, yeah, Belfast is uh, it's a somewhat of a paradox, right? It's still a city that's still dealing with... The remnants of the conflicts from you know the days yeah, of the, the, uh, the, the, yeah. the civil battles there with the, the right. nationalists and the unionists and there's still remnants of that and and you'll get a good sort of history or uh, sight of that on the hop on off hop hop on hop off bus tour. I I appreciated that because you know I grew up during that time period that that was going on and so getting to see some of the conflict that we saw on tv and the spots and the and the and sort of getting that history lesson of it was i appreciated it for sure yeah so, and now we're back on the ship having a pre-dinner no pre-dinner pre-dink if my lips work today with the American. You would think he's been drinking all day, but he really hasn't. He's only around three or four sips into his first drink, everybody. It's a pre-drink, pre-dinner drink. Anyways, going to relax here for a little bit before we get ready for dinner. Bye. Too many words already. Time to go have that whatever it is drink and <laughs> fix my lips before the next time I talk to the camera. <laughs> Bye. Great day, everybody. I'm going to try the cucumber sunrise. Vodka, watermelon, nectar, muddled cucumber, fresh squeezed lime juice, and a splash of orange juice. Gotta try some I'm gonna try some whiskey and diet. Shocking. <laughs> Drinks are right. No, basically, you gonna try it? Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Very refreshing. Mm. We used all our words telling you about Belfast today. So now we're back on the ship. We dressed up a little bit. We're going to the main dining room. Yes. And lots of buses coming in. People are getting back on the ship. Yeah, it's quarter after five now. We're just going to go and listen to a little bit of live music. I think there's some violins in the atrium, so let's go check them out. And tonight, Jill has got a kind of black dress, I guess I would call it. Mm -hmm. Does that sound right? Uh, on our way to find a drink. I think the atrium. We're in the wrong elevator. We're gonna lose it because of the carnival sign. Yes, we know you're 50. A long time ago. Take a Everybody bring their passports today. We're playing with the cash change bills machine tonight. Yeah. We put in a 20 and we paid out two four tens. fives. No, two five. Two, two tens. tens. So we broke even on the first try. <laughs> then we put in a 10 and we got back two fives. Then we tried a five, and we just got a five back. So we're trying to ten to see what happens next. And we'll see it first. What is it? Two fives. This is the best lottery machine ever at the casino. Yeah, you never only, lose. The only one I don't lose my shirt in. <laughs> yeah, you never win, but you never lose. <laughs> we're sitting in the couch at the Alchemy Bar, relaxing, having some bar snacks in. We're having the bar snacks at the Alchemy Bar are the ones that you bring, so. We're having some biscotti from the airplane. Oh, our hotel room in London, right? So yes, and we are looking forward to Norwegian next week because there will be bar snacks there. Well, there used to there be. There used to be, we're gonna find out. It's been a while out. since we've been on Norwegian. It used to be at the, uh, at the atrium bar there. Uh, and the Norwegian ships used to have bar snacks. So we're hoping that's still the case because we don't have to bring our own there. I'm waiting for my perfect storm. Okay, my drink has arrived. It is the perfect storm. Mm, see that? A little bit of rosemary floating on the top. Mm. Joe likes this drink too. And don't tell her, but I think we finally have a drink we can agree on. Okay, our first course is wine. I am having a Moscato wine, the best white wine there is. And Jill? I am having a Chardonnay. Not a super sweet wine like Mr. Kunuk loves. 
Okay, our appetizers have arrived. I am having the Michigan Tasty. So I don't know if that's because we are homesick for Sault Ste. Marie or not, but uh, and Jill is having the exact same thing, the Michigan pasties, and I think they're very delicious. Oh, you're not homesick then? No, I'm not homesick. <laughs> I'm quite happy to be where I am. Still, we're going to right. stay in Europe and eat Michigan pasties forever. <laughs> Appetizer number two has arrived, and I am having the potato cheddar soup. And Joe? I'm having a Thai chicken soup. It has lime in it. Coconut too, I think. Coconut, yeah. So it is, it's a bit of a different chicken noodle soup, but look at the chunks of chicken. Looks good. Okay, our main courses have arrived. I am having the roasted turkey. It looks good. Yeah, it looks good, actually. It. Yeah. I, uh, and Jill. I'm having a prime rib. Uh, tamarind. Yes, I was going to say tamarind was what I wanted to say, but I thought it might be wrong. Tamarind rub prime rib. That's what I'm having tonight. Hey, dessert has arrived, and my waiter brought it to me giggling at me. I'm not sure why he giggles at me when he brings me this. <laughs> but this is the banana split. It is off the secret carnival menu. Not a secret menu. It's a children's menu. A secret menu. I think children's the, maybe menu. Maybe the meatloaf lives there too. Children's <laughs> menu. And I'm having a carnival classic: the cho chocolate molting, melting molting cake. We come alive. slot machines. We're not supposed to film in here, so don't watch us. But we're about to win it big. Guaranteed. Fifteen dollars gone in three seconds. <laughs> so we are like the worst gamblers ever. I think we just lost thirty dollars in like five minutes from the slot machines. Yeah. Not only did we lose thirty dollars, we probably lost at least a week or two off our life from secondhand smoke at the same time. So we lost doubly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No big winnings today. Luckily, as Carnival's money is platinum, they gave us fifty dollars. So I guess we still have twenty in our pockets, which Jill is turning into change. <laughs> this is the only machine that Jill can win at today. Now this is it. <laughs> I'm turning it into tip Ooh, money so I can money. tip people. <laughs> Whoa! You're throwing money right. Uh -huh. Raining money in here All in right. the slot machines. Mm. No, that's our money that I broke up for tips. <laughs> we are disastrous gamblers. <laughs> disastrous. Disastrous. Reason we do. why we don't do it. <laughs> what do we do better than gambling? Everything? Yeah. <laughs> probably all out to 1.30 in the morning. But, um, so welcome back, here are the rules as always before we get started. Uh, first of all, please keep all table chat to a minimum so everybody in here can enjoy the show.
the room. Had our exercise tonight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, that's fun. Flashbacks to the college years. <laughs> <laughs> we just came back from uh, the silent party up on the Lido deck. That was quite fun. There's three different channels you can choose from and dance. And silent disco, some places call it. I'm not sure. Right. Probably copyright for someone, but yeah. Carnival calls called it silent, silent party. Night. Silent night. Silent night. Silent party. I don't know. It's in the video clip you just saw. <laughs> yeah. So that was a good time. Yeah, it's it it a good way for us to go to a dance club together. Yes, because we've never agreed on music no. ever. So I, I like good. more house music, Latin music, which was the Blue Channel. Yeah, and I stayed mainly to the Red Channel. The few times I switched over to the Blue Channel, but not very often. Mm -hmm. But I had like Whitney Houston, that sort of thing on the Red Channel, so that was lovely. Mm -hmm. yeah. Green Channel seemed to be oldies all the time. From yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was definitely. So yeah, blue is where it's at. We won, and <laughs> before that, we listened to some music. We didn't really dance to any. Did the Cuban shuffle on mine on the red <laughs> channel? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were in the atrium. I don't know what else. We tried to go to comedy tonight, and I'm not sure if I'll show the little clip that I quickly made. But the comedian was a repeat that we've seen before, seen him yeah. act. So yeah. So we snuck out of there. Luckily, he didn't see us and make fun of us for leaving in the middle <laughs> of the show. Yeah. So we went back and listened to more music and then, yeah, did some dancing. And now it's time for sleeping. Mm -hmm. Got the door open a little bit. I can hear the waves going by as we travel to Liverpool. Liverpool tomorrow. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that'll be fun. Yeah, back to England. Yeah, hopefully our door doesn't whistle all night and it's not a hard day's night. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but uh, yeah, the secret is put a sock on the door and just leave it open. You hear the waves and yeah. It doesn't work yeah. in the Caribbean because it's usually hotter and way more humid outside, but... No, we don't have to worry about that here. We don't need your the, tradition to work yeah, for you. In the tonight. Irish Sea or whatever it is that we're in between Britain and Ireland. Mm -hmm. Something like that. So that's all. That's all the words. We're going to bed. And uh, tomorrow we wake up in Liverpool, we hope. You never know. After you watch the whole Titanic thing, you're kind of... Stop. You're not allowed to say that. <laughs> we're on the ship. There's no icebergs in this area as far as I know. No. <laughs> all right. We'll Thanks see you for all. watching. <laughs> see you all tomorrow. Right.